Hello friends. Today I am going to answer you how to study smart in your class 11th. You might have finished your 10th boards and now have taken admission in your plus 2 stream. And you might be curious that how you should study your subjects. Now, first of all, you need to be aware about most of the things which are mentioned here. So awareness is the key. What you should be aware of. Go through the syllabus of all your subjects. Know about the difficulties faced by your seniors. Ask them what was the most problematic thing in their class 11th. Next, you need to target those areas and do regular practice. And the last thing is you need to maintain a regularity. Friends, many days you will feel like, oh, today I don't want to study. But believe me, you will do that once, twice and it will become a habit. And you might leave your studies for long. So even if you feel lazy, study little bit, but do not ignore completely. So that is what I mean by regularity. Now, you must know the importance of all the subjects. Friends, class 11th and 12th is not just to pass your board exams. These subjects are going to help you in your future studies also. If you are going to take engineering or medical, these are the fundamentals that you need. Now, physics, chemistry, mathematics and computer science, they are the fundamentals for your engineering. Let me come one by one. Now, class 11th physics is the fundamentals for mechanical engineering. Most of the chapters which you are going to study in class 11th are going to be your each chapter is going to be a subject a subject or two or three subjects in your mechanical engineering chemistry it is also going to help you in your future if you go for chemical engineering or whatever so these are the fundamentals mathematics you need in every field and class 11th mathematics is very much required as well as 12th also is required. Next, English. Friends, wherever you go in India, if you go to migrate to other places, the most fundamental language for you will be English. In terms of studies, your books are going to be in English and most of the time you need to communicate with others in English. So I would recommend you to be very strong in English. Have a proper communication. Next, biology. Biology is required if you are going for medical or other fields also. Now, computer science I have already mentioned. Generally, in class 12th, you may get C++ to study. And in your engineering first year, you will have this subject. And believe me, friends, many students find it very difficult to study C++ in their first year. But if you study now, the same thing you have to study in your engineering first year also. And most of the topics are going to be similar in your engineering first year. So please build a very good fundamental concept and be clear. Do not study your 11th and 12th just to pass your exam. Be strong in them.
now you need to fix your time of study for example if you are going to study in the evening after your school you fix your time like 4 to 6 you are going to study then in those in that time you need to study do not do other works in that time so fix your time how long you want to study or how long you can study friends number of hours does not matter the thing matters is how effectively you are studying you study for half an hour but with whole concentration it will be very helpful rather spending three hours without concentration so study with interest if you feel like you are not interested to study at that particular time you may switch to some other work but return to your study immediately as soon as possible you need to practice mathematics more and more and it would be better that you practice every day start with solving solved examples suppose you are finished with one chapter in your school then start solving solved examples or the numericals given in your textbook practice minimum of 20 to 30 questions every day and if you are finished with three to four chapters in mathematics then from each chapters do equal number of questions but cover all those four chapters and have this regular practice for mathematics mathematics is the most important subject in your plus two now in your free time i would suggest you to do simple and complex multiplication and division problems the most common thing would be divide one by any number this will help you to solve your chemistry numericals in chemistry you have most of the time you will have this problem that you need to divide 1 by 19 so at that time it would be difficult the next thing I would suggest you to learn tables till 20 and 19th table is going to be very important for you I have uploaded a video on trick for learning 19 table you may go through that next is make your separate notes for all subjects this is not only for the exam point of view friends after your you give your CBSE boards you will be appearing for your entrance exams engineering or medical at that time you will need to study entire syllabus of your 11th and 12th now if you make your own notes you will be familiar with the concepts and to give exam also if you refer your notes you will be strong from what you have studied at the time of your entrance exams when you refer your notes within a short time you will be able to learn those concepts but if you refer any book at that time it will take a very long time so this is a very important thing that you make your separate notes for all subjects and preserve it they are going to help you in a, in a long run last I would say you need to maintain regularity study two subjects daily studying three subjects would be difficult so study at least two subjects daily and do not miss any day hope you found this video useful kindly like my video and if you want to know anything else I am ready to help please comment in the given section thank you